Love is a moment in life and dream. Wait, and dream? My bad. A dream and at times a painful dream. Madame de Gira, Girardin? Girardin? Gir, Gir, mm, get, get some. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the playthrough that's causing me all eternal hell within every fiber of my being. God damn it, I hate this playthrough so much. Fucking every problem in the world. So, if you guys have not noticed, which is pretty hard to notice unless you didn't watch the other videos, which, I mean, it doesn't matter. I really don't care. Um, in the last, I want to say like two parts... I've been having some uh, audio problems with this game. The game audio was too fucking low. And that's because this game, while, while I'm talking, I might as well move around. That's because in this game, while, um, first, let me see if I have the right, before I start going into a whole spiel. Let me see if I have the right, the right, um, save, save game. Continue without saving? Yes. Rewards. Torture chamber. I think I have the right save data. I believe. If not, then these next two hours are gonna cause me hell because I'm recording. <laughs> I'm recording the wrong save data. But um, let's see, shit. Ignore the last. Te what? Do you like what the hell? Okay, booze and you. Show and tell. <laughs> Surprise you opening at work or something. Just thinking about your reaction. Okay, this might be, I think this might actually be the right save data that I have. The right load game. Because, uh, I remember Vincent was in the bathroom and shit. Okay, what the fuck, Toby? Hello, I saw an article in the magazine about the best bakers in the city. It's kind of embarrassing for a guy to eat at one alone. So I was thinking you might want to go out with me. Okay. We can go to that place with the great view I was telling you about yesterday. If you want to go, please, uh, please tell me what days are you, what days you're available. Tobies, Tobias, what the fuck, Tobias? Shit, ignore the last text. <laughs> hey, sorry, man. That text I just sent was for Erica. Just pretend you never saw it. All right? I'm not gonna be at the bar tonight. I had to go buy something. I think Johnny will be there, so be sure to talk to him. And don't tell Erica that I'm buying anything. T Dog. <laughs> I love how his his uh his texting etiquette is different when he thinks he's te texting a girl. I'm working overtime. From Orlando. Okay. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself, bro. Marriage isn't all bad. It it's nice to be able to have someone special to spend some time with and shit. Okay. Can I even reply to these? No, I don't think so. Alright, like I was saying though, um, Are you drinking? the, Catherine's audio is weird because one of the, one of the biggest examples I can give is that the music sometimes is louder than the voices of the characters and then voices of the characters are so low but the sound effects of the game are so fucking high, there's a moment like in one of the few parts, I think like part three, where Catherine slams like a fork on the cake and that's like super loud as fuck for no reason. So yeah, Catherine has a weird audio thing going on with its game and there's no options whatsoever the fucking to like change that shit. There's like, come on. Catherine, get your shit straight. But anyways, we're here. We're gonna... I don't even know what fucking backside of TV. I'm gonna play this. From a uh, uh, digital devil. What was it? Digital. Fuck. Shemigami Tensei. Avatar Tuner 2. Wait. What is that from? I wanna thank you, Shemigami Tensei. What is it? Like Devil Survivor or something like that? Alright. Onward. Let's go speak to uh, the twins. Because they leave the earliest, I think. Speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Would you rather watch golf at home? Would you rather watch baseball at home? I would say baseball. I don't like either of them that much. But at least... I don't know. This one? I don't think Mr. Todd would say that. 
I hear Mr. Todd's body is heavily scarred. I hear Mr. Todd was hit by an axe. He doesn't want to show those scars to his wife. I hear Mr. Archie has many new wounds. He gets new ones every time he sleeps with a woman. I don't think he can forgive himself. <sighs> it's four days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? I like these fucking twins. They say like the weirdest shit, but all of it is pretty much true. Uh, like Archie, Archie, which is like the depressed looking motherfucker. Uh, I find it weird that he's all like, man, I'm such a cheater. I'm such a bad guy. But he's like, I still sleep with women, though. It's Officer J.P. Morgan. What's up? I think these rumors gave me a terrible nightmare last night. These rumors are about cheating men, right? I gotta say, I, I'm a little scared. Shoot, you have a reason to be scared then? I'm a piece of trash. If they're cursing cheaters to death, I'd be the first to go. Trash? I killed my wife. What? That's the other case I told you I'm investigating from six years ago. You killed your wife, and you're still researching the case. I'm trash. Huh. I killed my wife. She's dead now. What do we got? Congratulations. Fantastic. Congratulations to uh, the Inquisition. Inquisition was the, uh... Huh. Listen, these fuck... God damn it, I can't remember. I can't remember the last thing I did on this game. Jesus. Uh, last thing I did was bitch about Catherine Hardbody and how poor timing I have to make this playthrough. When we get married... You want to go on a honeymoon in space? They lowered the application fee. It's cheaper now. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's only 50000 instead of 80000 What a steal. Besides, that's just the application fee. Who knows how much more the trip will cost? And what's this about marriage? You're joking, right? Uh, hmm. Trip into space, huh? Man. <laughs> this is this girl out of her goddamn mind, and this guy's just a fucking asshole. Hello. Hello, Justin. Speak to me. Speak to me, man. I've got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research, but I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying ballet. The article was a hit, and her popularity soared. It's the truth. Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment, her family... What? I'm sorry, I'll tell the rest some other time. I don't think I've had enough to drink today. Go easy on the booze, okay? Go easy on the booze, says Vincent, the guy who drinks at the bar, then goes home, goes to the fucking convenience store, buys more beer, and then fucking drinks it alone by himself and just smoke like five cigarettes every night. Hey! We cannot read that out here in public. You know about that. So into the bathroom we go, where secrets are meant to be. Whoa! <laughs> uh, you getting tired? It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you at the quadrangle. You'll be frozen with fear. This voice. Huh? Alright, that was interesting. Now, Catherine, let's see what you have for us. How's it going, Vincent? What are you doing right now? Wait, question. Oh, it was just, it was just a regular in email. I thought there was like a picture attached to it. Reply. I'm drinking with friends. We'll talk later. No. No. Don't come bother me, okay? We'll talk later. Nah. I'm still at work. I can't see you today. 
Grown-ups have to work for a living. Nah. Why do you care? I can't see you today. No. Nah. Oops. No. And nobody will know my secrets. Speaking of secrets and knowledge, I completely forgot <coughs> to cough. No, I pr uh, fuck. I can't speak. Sorry, but I don't have any problems for you to talk about. Boss. I fucking tripping over tripping over my own words here. Some days our schedules don't meet up. That's all. It's a bit lonely without them. And speaking of which, the biggest reason men start thinking about marriage is loneliness. Marriage is a state where two people can't stand living together and can't stand living apart. To nab a quotation from a certain someone. If you stay in an apartment by yourself long enough, you tend to start thinking, maybe if I had a family. But when it comes down to actually getting married, we all hesitate. Well, it makes me embarrassed to hear that. Throw back some liquor and hit the hay. To get the whole of the sky on the ground, you have to lie. Though that rumor about strange nightmares does worry me a bit. Strange nightmares? Why don't you ask around? Everyone here seems to be talking about it. Oh, I got email. Uh, did not mean to press the talk button. I meant to drink my drink. What am I drinking? Oh, I'm just drinking the, the rum and cola. She's pregnant. And here I am cheating for a third time. What am I doing? Oh, and I am pregnant. And you're the daddy. <laughs> no, the fuck I ain't. I keep cheating. Why can't I just tell her I have a girlfriend? You know what's really interesting about the thing that... Well, let me shut up because now we're going to get our trivia. Did you know the United States outlawed alcohol between 1920 and 1933? It is said that this very prohibition paved a way for the cocktail culture to bloom. Alcohol made in secret tended to taste terrible, so people began mixing it with anything and everything to make it more enjoyable. These are the roots of the modern cocktail. The more you stamp on a weed, the more it thrives. My, that's deep. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Okay. Already? As I was saying, <coughs> cough, cough. As I was saying, uh, give me whiskey. As I was saying, the interesting thing about Vincent's comments to himself when he when he um drinks is that he never really says which girl he's talking about in particular. Well, I mean, besides like, besides like uh. The pregnant stuff and stuff like that but what i mean is he never actually says the name of either catherine so that's pretty weird like the last thing he just said was uh why can't i tell her that i already have a girlfriend i can't let her find and it's like you may think that he's either talking about you know c catherine like the the blonde one or k catherine because it goes both ways it's really weird and interesting. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass, have you ever heard of the term angel's share? During the aging process, some whiskey will be lost to evaporation. This is called the angel's share. I hear that if they seal it so it doesn't evaporate, the whiskey doesn't have that nice aroma. What a fancy way of saying it. And that was the trivia for tonight. Already? This is the type of shit that I mean where like the audio is like kind of weird with the voices because like I can hear Vincent perfectly fine but I can't hear the fucking the, like the narrator I guess I don't, I don't know what would you call him the dude who does the trivia I can't fucking hear him clearly like his voice is too low uh give me a beer, I need a beer. I'm feeling very rowdy today I would like to have a beer please but first Let's check this out. About this morning. Hi. This morning must have been hard for you. Well, I guess I was in the wrong too for showing up so suddenly. But 
I wanted to talk to you a little more face to face. I'm sorry, I was fucking, I was like pausing in the middle of the sentence because I, I was having like fucking the hiccups and shit. <coughs> now I'm coughing all over the place, but I'm not even fucking sick. All right. What conversations can we have? Has anyone else entered the bar? I don't think so. Look at you, Vincent. You're a fucking... Oh, Daniel. It's you. Sit. I've been waiting to speak alone with you. I can't believe you don't remember me. And all this time, I was striving to one-up you. One-up? What? I can change the markets with a nod of my head. I've got friends in every branch of government you can think of. I've done a complete 180 from when I was in grade school. So why do I feel so powerless? It was never a competition. Forget about it. So, I do not remember any of the fucking choices that you have to pick in order to make sure that these motherfuckers survive, and Daniel was one of them. I do not, I don't know what to choose. Forget about it. It was never a competition. I'm gonna go with that. And maybe he'll be alive. It's not like that. Maybe it wasn't to you, but I've been trying to surpass you all along. What? I don't think I'm that great of a person. In the end, there's not a single thing that I'm better at than you. I can't make the one person that I love happy. Oh, a Anna, was it? Out of everything in my life, she's the one thing I ever chose for myself. But I have another fiance. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't need your pity. Bye, Daniel. I don't think he has anything more to say. Morgan got up and left. Um, let's see. I don't think anyone else has anything to say. We can go talk to Erica. Does Johnny seem a bit gloomy to you? Did something happen? Does it look like I give a fuck about what Johnny wants? Worried about him. He always hides his problems, right? Yeah, huh? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Hey Johnny, talk to me. How how you feeling, buddy? You okay? I started to think about our high school days after what happened to Paul. Oh boy, Paul loved the girls back then too. You and Orlando were always doing stupid things. Didn't you guys once eat Catherine's lunch and get chewed out for it? Did we? I know she was mad, but she started bringing you snacks once in a while. Remember? I thought she just wasn't hungry. Eh, dumbass. There was so much going on back then. We're all busy with our own problems. It wasn't all fun, but I felt more alive. More than I do now. It's with you all of a sudden. Is something bothering you? No. <sighs> hey, really, what's what's going on? I'm just reminiscing. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Sure. Hey, we got more. Now, now, that's, that's what, that's what I'm talking about there. Fucking, see you later, Johnny. I got, I got, I gotta go talk to little Johnny. You know what? That's weird. Naming, naming your penis after another guy. <laughs> little Johnny. Why are you blowing me off? I only wanted to see you. Can I call you then? Calling's okay, right? Mm. Wait, this one didn't have a fucking... Isn't there supposed to be like a... Okay, that's the icon I was looking for. Alright. Okay. Alright. Because usually Catherine does like two of them. Uh, don't call me. Nah. You're so persistent. No. Don't call me. I have to get up early tomorrow. Nah. I'm talking to someone right now. <laughs> that's the worst excuse ever. Uh, don't be selfish. No. I mean it. Stop calling. Nah. No. You're so persistent. Nah. We got nothing to talk about. I gotta run. No time to talk. We got nothing else to talk about. Okay. Bam. Oh, Vincent, you're a, you're such a such a bad boy. Such a rebel. Alright, 
Let me... Oh, hey, Archie's here. Hey, Archie, what's up? You, you making any more Sonic comics? Yeah, uh, do I look like a good person? Of course. <laughs> Sorry, but no. <laughs> uh, no, look at you. You look like a fucking murderer. Yeah? You're not a good judge of character, are you? I'm one of the worst people ever. Yeah, you're a dachi. I mean, what? I sleep with lots of women, take their money, and run. Lather, rinse, repeat. Why? I don't like women. They disgust me. <sighs> what about you? Are you usually loyal to them? Well, I, I guess. I mean, I've been dating my girlfriend for a while now. So you mean you'd pull back even if the woman of your dreams hit on you? You mean you'll put back everything if the woman of your dreams hits on you? Don't judge me. Yeah, but you can stay true to the one you love, but all it gets you is betrayal. A happy family is just an illusion. Mothers and sons are just women and men when it comes down to it. Huh? Uh, just kidding. I'm going now. I only came to have one drink. Huh. I'll see you later, Archie. Man, speaking about those Sonic comics, did you guys... I'm pretty sure half of you didn't. Because who really gives a fuck, to be honest? Even I don't give a fuck. It's just something I ran across. Um... There's a new Sonic character, and I forgot what, it's a, it's a girl, I forgot what she's called. But yeah, there's like a new Sonic character in the comics or whatever. I'm kind of tired. I haven't been able to sleep lately. I tried staying in my girlfriend's place, but that makes me even more tired. Your girlfriend, huh? What's she like? <laughs> what, you, you want to know? You never talk about it. Toby was wondering too. There's nothing to talk about. Maybe later. Hmm? I'm gonna head home. Excuse you me. You got mail. Bye, Justin. All right. I'm really confused right now. I mean, you've been acting really strange this week. This hasn't. Wait, did I even reply to her? <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mean to chase you away. No. I'm not helping my boss ever again. Nah. It's okay. No. Nah. No. But you did surprise me too. Nah. It was bad luck for both of us. We'll see ya. Don't worry about it too much. I didn't even fucking reply to her. Alright. I'm really confused right now. I mean, you've been acting really strange this week. This has never happened before. I'm worried about us. Uh. Stop worrying so much. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, stop worrying so much. I really care about you. No. I'm tired. <laughs> See ya. Who the fuck writes that? Nah. I really care about you. See ya. No. Don't drink too much. It's not that good for you. Take it from me. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Um... Shit. What else is there to do? Well, we can catch the news. Yeah, let's catch the news. Let's do that. This is our latest in the coverage of the mysterious weakening death epidemic. Matthew Miller was found dead today. We retraced his footsteps from the day before as part of our investigation. This epidemic. A horrible mess. According to his mother, who spoke with him on the phone, after that point he'd been plagued with nightmares. Hmm. Fucking, I swear the audio on this game has problems. Like, I could barely hear what the fuck she said anyways. Uh, speak to me, boss. It's all about the recent chain of deaths. Just between you and me. It seems an acquaintance of one of our customers has passed away. It's just a coincidence. Well, I don't believe in curses either. But to incur the grudge of a female is a horrifying thing. You see, my wife left me. When she was away on vacation, I brought a young lady home. 
just having a little fun. Then she comes home all of a sudden. After that, she's swinging all kinds of improvised weaponry at me. Phew, what a night. Uh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but still, I love my wife even now. She's a classy lady. Hmm. Then maybe there's no reason for you to worry about the curse. I mean, if cheating is the cause of the curse, everything's already been taken care of, right? I see. You're right. Maybe that's why I don't have strange nightmares? Besides, it's just a rumor anyway. It's stupid. Well, oh, this will just move on once they figure out what's causing this. You got mail. Uh, Midnight Venus, your fellow customers. Oh yeah, why the fuck? Why do you keep giving me tutorials? I know how to play the fucking game. Please. Please. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Uh, I think Johnny doesn't have anything else to say, right? And Archie's done. Uh, Daniel left. Wait, no, he's still here. Okay. Is that Rapunzel game any good? I tried it because Todd, my boss, was into it. It's a lot of pushing and pulling, just like relationships with women. Nothing but trouble. Man, you're just really fucking depressing. Don't talk to me ever again, Archie. I've been getting the feeling like people keep staring at me. Maybe I'm showing a little too much cleavage. It's just you. Hey, don't shoot me down just like that with three words. Come on. I know you sneak a peek at me every so often. No, I don't. Three words again? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, what the hell? Galaxy Jazz Greats. Huh. I love jazz. Jazz is awesome. Fucking what? Oh. It just disappears, so, okay. Neon sign just says straight sheep. Alright. Uh, let's see. I had to scratch my nose. I had a, I had a itch there. A little, little tickle. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Yeah. Come on, Vincent, drink up. Yeah. Keep drinking, Vincent. Get my fucking, get my trivia. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about fear. Now that you've emptied your mug. Do you know what draft beer is? Fresh beer still has yeast bacteria inside, which cannot be preserved. However, the beer's taste is changed by pasteurization. Draft beer is unpasteurized. However, it is possible to filter draft beer to remove the bacteria so the beer lasts longer. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Very, very interesting. Are you all right? I'm fine, my good sir. Man, when it comes to alcohol, um, I'll try sake. I know Coming right up. that I forgot what I was saying. Shit. I said when it comes to alcohol, um, me personally, I'm a, I'm more of a wine type of guy. I like wine. Wine is tasty. It's light. Maybe sometimes have a nice little moscato here and there. It's, it's good. Nice and sweet. It's a sweet can't bitch. Back now. Can't let her find but, um... I know I'm not that much of a fan of liquor. Liquor is, uh... Very strong. When I drink that, I cannot drink that straight by itself. I always mix it with, like, soda or something. Do you know who the first Westerner to drink Japanese sake was? According to records, it was Spanish missionary Francis Xavier who came to Japan in 1549. In his letters written back home, he was amazed to learn that the alcohol was made from rice, not fruit. It must have been a rice surprise. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? Are you all right? No, I'm, I'm good for the night, my, my good sir. Uh... After that rumor started, Everyone seems to be a bit more tired than usual. Are the nightmares because of lack of sleep? Even if they were, they're all happening at once. 
Uh, oh, well, shucks, it's late. I'm tired today. I should go home and get some rest. All right. Well, usually, what happens is that everybody else leaves, and Vincent is the last. Vincent's really? Did I say that? Vincent is the last one here, but not tonight, because I guess they just. I don't know. What we got? How much does it cost to raise a child? It costs a lot. It costs a lot to raise children. Wow, you don't look so hot. You should go home and get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I know. Oh, yeah, about my bill. Uh... Yeah, put it on your tab, right? I know, I know. Anyway, just make sure you get home safely, okay? With all the rumors and bad news going around. Ah, you worry too much, Erica. I'll be fine. See you soon. <laughs> 